あなたは選ばれた For any JRPG story, I feel like an emotional connection to the characters is important. The team at Furyu takes us to heart with their game Crime Machina, which puts a spotlight on an emotional journey that turns into the crux of its gameplay systems. This is a story of struggle and fighting against fate to save a dying world. In its opening moments, the first Deus Ex Machina has mysteriously disappeared and halted the research of preserving humanity. Which sparks a war in the machine ran ship known as Eden. Before we get into the video, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for making this possible. Please take a second to check out patreon.com slash noisypixel to support independent game journalism. The ultimate goal of Cry Machina is for a group of survivors to be recognized as humans, which will put a stop to the violence. A girl named Leban has been resurrected by the 8th Deus Ex Machina named Inoa, 2000 years after her death. The goal is simple, fight to be a human and do everything necessary to stop the war. However, that is not going to be easy, and the struggle that faces Leban and her group will be tough to overcome. The overall tone of the opening shares similarities with The Matrix as Leban is uploaded to a place known as the Imitation Garden and explained what's actually going on. Evidently, six months after she died in real life, chaos arose on Earth, causing humanity to leave on an AI ran ship known as Eden. There are a total of eight Deus Ex Machina, but they each want something different. After the first Deus Ex Machina, known as the Overseer, went missing, a group of the others launched a strike against Eden as they refused to recognize her research as real humans. Leban is now part of her small group, and the Imitation Garden acts as a virtual world where they can plan their next moves. The narrative becomes heavy on science fiction, but from a surface level standpoint, these girls, Leban, Amy, and Makoto, must prove their humanity to stop from being taken over by the other Deus Ex Machina. The dialogue between characters includes a lot of dry humor, as Levin first believes she's in a video game. She slowly gets a grasp on the situation, and her painful memories of when she was alive slowly come back to her. Each character has some sort of emotional connection to the past, which is then used during combat. However, in order to take those first steps, Levin must come to terms with how much she absolutely hates humans due to their lying and manipulating ways. Intro aside, the characters are very well-rounded and each have unique personalities built on a common goal. At first, they work together because they have to, but I'm interested in seeing their relationship grow as they hang out in the garden. Aside from the character interactions, exploring Eden also has its share of emotions as lingering memories are scattered around that give an insight into the rather deep emotional moments before humanity went extinct. However, this is an action game, so don't expect to just walk around and be recognized as humans. The main enemy are mechs. While I had fought a couple of types in my time with the game, there are a ton of battle options available from the start. The combat felt smooth while chaining together attacks and switching forms to unleash follow-up attacks. I would say that the dodging took some getting used to, as the timing window was small, and I really wasn't in the environment to invest myself in mastering the action, but after I figured it out, I can feel it becoming natural. Although I played it on Switch, I found the frame rate to be steady but the on-screen resolution suffered a bit as the unfocused characters clashed. Regardless, I was able to enjoy the many different abilities Level had access to, and I look forward to seeing how this evolves across the game. Cry Machina touches on some pretty heavy topics within its narrative that revolve around what it means to be a human. Its action systems are fueled by those emotions that heighten the stakes for the group of girls. Sure, you could put mech girls in anything and I'll probably be interested in it, but there's a high degree of substance and beauty here that rivals its melancholic themes. Cry Machina is coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC in fall 2023. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Wazy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.